guys once again we are at empire harley davidson for their demo ride it is a beautiful day blue skies clear skies right now i'm taking out the road king i already took out the road glide and i already took out the fat bob now we're taking out this beautiful beautiful road king special first time on this bike let's see what it's all about all right so ignition on okay this is different power all righty well, this is different i didn't i don't know this it had this little tab right here oh th this is nice this is nice look it gives you a gauge right there lets you know how much gas you have pretty nice i like it uh when it comes to control guys your normal harley davidson controls this bike does have cruise control though which is pretty awesome all right sorry pal All right. All righty. What up, man? Chilling. How you doing? A lot of guys out here that uh noticing me today, man. It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. This channel is growing little by little. I like it, guys. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the love. It feels amazing. Now back to this bike. This bike is amazing. It's beautiful. You got your 114 engine on here. Your speedometer is right here, right in front of you, real big. Roking is known to have that big light in the front. It sticks out. This is a special, so it's all blacked out. I'm a big fan of the old uh, old Rokings. All chromed out. Charlo style. Lately, I don't know what it is, guys. I kind of, and it's not because I've been watching Mines a lot. No, no, no. It's not because of that. <laughs> Mines is a cool show, but lately, I, I'm just, I'm becoming more of a bigger fan of like those gangster trolled out style bikes, man. I know Matt Laylaw did a video a while ago. Uh, was this week on it, and it was like super ironic because it's like here he is posting this video, and here I am thinking, hmm, like these. These bikes look, they look pretty nice, and you know, now with everything, everyone liking these bikes all blacked out, it's like you, you hardly see that type of bike anymore. I mean, especially up here in the East Coast, it's different, guys. Um, those troll style bikes are more, you know, it's Mexican style, it's more you see them on the West Coast. That's, uh, that's their culture, you know? But uh, you, you'll see you see a few here once, once in a while. And I'm a big fan of them. I, I think they look great, they look pretty cool, and uh, I just think that it would be pretty cool if maybe I I did a, a Road King or a sli um, a Deluxe or an Old Heritage and made it my own type of style. Because you guys know, for the springtime, I do want to get a secondary bike. And yes, I was looking at sport bikes, but now I'm kind of like, kind of backing off from that. I'm not sure. Um, just looking at naked bikes now. But now I'm like thinking more of... Uh, Maybe I should just get another Harley Davidson. Something totally different, because my low rider ass obviously is all blacked out. And how cool would it be if I had my all blacked out low rider ass, which is right there in front of me. That looks amazing, by the way, yeah. <laughs> and uh, if I also had um, like an all chromed out bike as well, you know? But something old, I don't want anything new. I kind of want to, if I went that route, I would probably get like an 05 or 04 around there. You know, something that's old that I could be able to get for a really good price and build it out. I don't want to get one that's already built out, you know. I want to build it out myself, get all the parts myself, install everything myself, and just have my own type of uh, cholo style flow to it. Orale. <laughs> Yo, shout out to my people from Mexico, man. If you guys are watching from Mexico right now, or if you're a Mexican watching right now, then what up? Shout out to you. Shout out to everyone watching right now. Cross seas. Canada, what's up? UK, what's up? India, what's up? Australia, what's up? Germany, what up? What up, Germany? Japan, what's good? Who else? Who else? What are the main countries that watch me? I was looking at my analytics the other day. Uh, Thailand, what up, man? What else? I already mentioned Australia, right? Those are like the big main ones. This bike feels amazing. Let's get back to this bike, guys. I'm sorry. I got went a little talking rant right there, but 
this bike feels really good it feels really nice the gears feel really good the bar setup is cool um but if i was to go with this bike i would probably get some risers i would probably get some bars that went up to here i'm five seven right now guys so these bars uh they're way below my shoulder level but i would definitely go with some 16 inch bars 16 inch high rise bars way up here fists in the air really nice and cool the f the bike feels really light really nice and manageable nice to take out nice and easy i just got off the uh the fat bob and i was having myself like anytime that i tried to turn the bike over lean it over like kind of like wanted to pick itself up and that's probably due to the fact that you know the thick tire in the front the thick tire in the back it just wants to balance itself out kind of didn't like that about it i did like the bike a lot but that basically the only thing that i don't like about it but this feels good it, it just feels really nice the seat comfort is amazing suspension is really good as well it's it's just like soaking up all these little potholes and cracks and grooves in the way that we're going over right now it feels good the whole ergonomics of the whole bike just feels amazing and this is basically a bagger that doesn't have all that you know extra shit in the front you don't have all those big fairings in the front nothing's in your way you're you got the open wind the open road you got the wind hitting you then you have the bag space in the back if that's what you want it's pretty nice man i would compare this like obviously if you're looking at this bike you're probably looking at this and you're probably looking at heritage i'm assuming and um i'm a big fan of the heritage guys i'm, I'm a big fan of all bikes man <laughs> i did, like all bikes some I love, some I like, some I'm like, eh, eh, meh. But I, I like this bike a lot. I'm really surprised. And this is like one of those bikes that, you know, that have, they've been around for a long time. It's like you just kind of like shrug your shoulders. You see them there and it's like, it's the pretty girl. It's, it's like the ugly girl in school that everybody ignores. And then five years, ten years down the line, you see that ugly girl and she's like the most beautiful girl. So you kind of like ignored her the whole time. <laughs> not saying this bike was ugly but yeah you know what i mean it feels good man i like it i like it a lot i like it a lot kind of want to go home to watch dumb and dumber now Ooh. let's see lean angle lean angle at this slow speed can it happen yeah there we go okay very nice and maneuverable maneuverable I like it man it feels good it feels natural you know it feels like real real organic and natural if that makes any sense it's very easy to maneuver around just literally flick this bike over like nothing man and you wouldn't think because it looks super heavy and it is heavy but like always guys like if, if don't think that these that baggers are really heavy because once you get them on the road yes they, they they're heavy on other bikes but once you get them rolling like they're really really easy to maneuver man i gotta tell you i'm a big fan of this bike there's not one thing that i don't like about it honestly like i really like it i know yugo yesterday you, you guys remember yugo yugo came on a few rides with me he's one of my subscribers and he had the 48 pretty sure you guys seen the videos prior and he took this bike out he, he wanted to upgrade from his 48 to a breakout and i was like yeah you know the breakout looks pretty cool but i mean me personally i'm not a big fan of the breakout i just i don't know it it looks cool but then it's like ah, eh, whatever um and i told him listen there's like there's a lot of cool bikes out there man like take a look at this bike take a look at that bike and um okay wow that 114 definitely opens up very nice and uh, he took this bike out yesterday. He was like, yo, I'm totally in love. I want that bike. That's the one that I want. And I'm like, man, I told you, man. You got to keep looking around because you'd be surprised, man. You, you walk in a dealership or, or you think you know what you want until you sit on a bike or you take it out. And you're like, everything that I thought that I wanted just went out the window. So I, I always encourage people to just go sit on bikes, man. Like, yeah, you, you might be in love because that's what you've seen on pictures and videos or that's what you know but the minute you get on another bike something that's way different and sometimes it can be something that's totally different from what you're really into you know 
Because look at him, he's coming from a sports store and he got on this bike and he fell on with it. This is totally different, you know? So I definitely encourage everyone to just, you know, head out to your nearest uh, dealership, you know, swing a leg over any bike. And if you want to take one out for a ride, it's free, guys. Like, be like, hey, listen, I want to I take it out. I want to see how it feels. It's totally free. And I'm going to charge you for it. And believe me, you'll probably end up walking out of there with a big smile on your face. Not probably, you will. And uh, you'll probably end up walking out of there with, with, with a different like, a different type of bike. Look at that sexy bike right there, though. Look at, look at that. Yo, 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 what up, girl? What up? What up? Come here, girl. Yo. Mm. <laughs> oh, I love my bike. Sexy time. It's me, I bought it. I like it the low ride ass. Imagine if Borat rode a low rider ass in that green uh <laughs> bikini bathing <bathing> suit. <laughs> Classic. Uh. What do you think? Love it, you love it? <laughs> it's nice, right? I know it. I, I, I was waiting for I was waiting for for your reply, man. <laughs> He was like, man, I love it. I should have never got on it. That bike makes everyone fall in love with it. Road King, I, I'm giving the Road King 10 thumbs up. I don't got 10 on, but 10 thumbs up, guys. Five stars. Five star rating. Five star, five star, five star, five star. Top five, top five, top five, top five. Oh, look at that. Like, it's so easy to maneuver. Swing it over, swing it over, swing it over. Very nice. I didn't even notice it has the uh, the guards up here in the front. Let me see if I could just rest my feet on there. Uh, nah, nah, it feels a little weird. Kind of short, man. I can't really <laughs> rest my feet on there like that. Okay, let's uh, turn her over right now. Nice and easy. Very good. Lean angle on this bike is amazing, guys. If you guys are looking to get into this bike, I definitely recommend it. It's, it feels great. And don't forget, you have that bag, that bag storage in the back. So once I get off the bike right now, we're approaching the dealership. I'll get off the bike. We'll do a little walk around and show you guys a few little details on it. I like it, man. I really do. Maybe I should do this bike as my secondary bike. Cholo style, Roll King, and like a crazy color like a uh, baby blue or something or a green with like I don't know what kind of like angels bite from Mayans <laughs> I love it huh you got this next it's nice bro that's a beast right there <laughs> That guy's cool, man. Oh, you hear that sound? She purrs, baby. She purrs. Man, that 114 engine sound is, is very special. Sounds aggressive. Sounds nice. You know, I'm surprised because, you know, this bike does have floor uh, floorboards and... Uh, Thought I was gonna be able to lean it over as much, but I was. Very nice, man. All right, let's take a look at it. Wow. Oh, you got the stretched out bags here too. I didn't notice that. And you got that light in the back. Very nice. That's a very nice look right there. Guys, I, I like this bike. I like it. I like it a lot. I love the wheels. These are the new wheels for 2020. The same ones that the Street Glide has and the Road Glide. I don't know the name of them, but they look really nice. Nice shape for the front fender. Paint job is real nice. Very minimal with the Harley Davidson logo right there. This is the, uh, this is a beautiful bike. Very, very nice. Very cool. Oh, I forgot to turn the ignition off. There we go. Very cool, man. Road King special. Everything's blacked out. Oh, my guy. <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah, I was just, I was just, you're, you're on the vlog right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I was just, I was on the bike and I was talking about you because I, I was yeah. like, yeah, like the, the, this guy came yesterday and he fell in love with this bike. Yeah, I love that. You 
It's it's amazing. Like I, I love it too. Like it's really nice. All right, guys. So I conclude it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ride safe. Peace.